in this video we are going to look into spring rest template builder what is rest template builder so far if you are following the tutorial about uh, microservices communication so we have covered a lot of things we are using rest template for microservices communication so far we have covered exchange method and get for object post for object and all these and all other details about rest template uh, by which we can use to call other services in this video specifically we are going to talk about how we can get the instance of that rest template so far we have were directly creating the rest template as new using the new keyword but there is another way where uh, which is the standard way we can use to create the rest template instance and which is rest template builder right that you are seeing here so this is the rest template builder factory class that is there to create the rest template instance this we can use to customize the rest template further how what are the details about that we are going to look into that so let's go ahead and see what is this rest template builder so this is the way to create a spring rest template in a standard way okay and it is a way to customize rest template how we can do that and we can add timeout to rest template uh, suppose you're calling a third a third service and it is not responding in a particular time or maybe that can take some more time in some situations and you do not want to wait till that time you can throw an exception or you can handle that accordingly so i can add the timeout using rest template builder to our rest template we can add interceptors interceptors help in a lot of things like if you want to log you want to put logging for request and response for each request you can do we can use the make use of the interceptors there and we can add different message converters there like xml byte string all of those are there we can customize that also so uh, what we are going to cover here in this series of rest template video tutorials we are going to see uh, how we can uh, take the instance how we can build the instance of uh, rest template so rtb dot build we can add timeout we can add interceptors we will look into these one by one so let's move ahead to demo part and see what is rest template builder how we can use that so this is our demo service uh, which we will be calling it has different controller same users this is the user management user list user id and all that so if you're not if you have not watched the rest template rest template videos you should watch that before watching into looking into this to get the understanding of the project okay so i'm moving ahead uh, towards the new project that we have this rest template builder demo okay so this is the main this is the full plus service which we will be calling uh, this will also be running and we will take uh, we will print that in new browser also okay so we we have i have defined this user list endpoint and rest template so rest template we have auto wired this earlier we were uh, we used to create the instance of this like this rest template but here we are not going to do that we are going to do that in standard way what is that so this rest template gets auto wired so there there should be some uh, place where it is this instance gets created so that spring while running get that instance rest template and auto wired this property okay so this is that class config we have to auto um, annotate it with add configuration so that the dependencies that are here they can be taken into account okay so this is the rest uh, this is the rest template and this is the constructor that we are passing rest template builder so let's go ahead and look into this more so builder that can be used to configure and create a rest template that i told you it provides convenient methods to register converters i told you error handlers uri template handlers by default the build rest template will attempt to use the most suitable this respect uh, request factory and it calls this and by default it opinionated base spring boot gives you the dependencies but further you can customize that uh, this is the meaning of that so when you are passing it as a constructor so spring context spring boot gives you by default a builder which you can use how it how it gives you so if you go to spring factories that is here in spring boot auto configure dependency so we have rest template auto configuration here if i go to this class rest template auto configuration so it creates the instance of this builder 
okay so if you see rest template builder it is returning that beam okay so it is creating the builder like this message converters rest template customizers by default it is taking all that and creating the instance of rest template builder and giving us at this point which we can use to get the rest template so this is the builder and this is the build directly i can call with the default one that are there so if i go here what it is returning this is returning rest template right so i get the rest template from here which gets injected to this one in our main controller so if i run this application so it will call this url this endpoint directly which i am giving here right uh, with this return type that are there get for object you know what is this so it is taking the url which it is going to hit and this is the return type that it is going to return okay so if i run this application and hit it it will work properly so let's go ahead and run this and see so this is the main class uh, that i'm going to run okay the service is running now so i can go ahead and hit this endpoint right so by default it is running on port 88 so let me go ahead and hit that url so local host 8080 and what we are going to hit user list right so if i hit it it is going to return the all the ids that all the users that it has okay Yeah, so it has hit this URL. Ultimately, it is hitting this URL that it has a Spring Data Demo, which is this application user list. And if you see in console, it is printing what it is returning, right? User service IMP, user management, and user list from DB getting users. All the users it is returning, right? So if you want to try that part, you can give any incorrect url and hit it so it will throw an exception in that case okay so you can do that also in the next video i am going to customize it further by setting the base url so if you see this is the base url this is the host port and this is the context path right so this is going to be the same for all the endpoints that sting data demo has right so in the next video i am going to show you how to do that how to set the base url using builder so till then you go ahead and call other endpoints that spring data demo has and see how it is working or not okay so i'll see you in the next video till then take care bye bye